What's going on YouTube? Today we got a really cool review for you guys. We are going to review the World Peacekeepers Battle Command Post. This thing is massive. I can't even get the whole box on the screen. So for the first portion in the box, I'm going to hold the camera and just kind of pan from left to right. This is how it looks. In package. This thing takes up my whole table space so I couldn't get the whole thing just sitting on a tripod. But I am super happy about finally getting this. I got this at my local big lots. It was $39.99. And don't worry, we'll definitely open a guy, this guy up and take a closer look at it, each and every little tidbit that came with it. But I just wanted to show you the packaging first. I'm really excited about getting this. I have never seen this in, in my any of my big lots before. You know, I've always seen it on the back of other playsets box and stuff, and I started to think, does this thing really exist? You know, but uh, I just went in, not even looking for this, actually, I was looking for something else, and right at the bottom of the shelf, there it was. So I was like, yeah, I will be picking that up. All right, guys, so stay tuned. We're going to open this guy up and jump into the review. Also, before we open it up, I forgot the back of the box does show the other side of the playset. So here how the front looks in packaging. It comes with some more props. You got like sandbags and barrels. And don't worry, we'll go over all that stuff in a second here. Just kind of wanted to show you the back of the packaging as well as the front. All right, so now let's open this guy up because I'm really excited. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, so before we get into the actual playset itself, I wanted to go over all the accessories that it came with. And it is quite a bit, so we'll just jump right into it. Um, it came with all sorts of little cool things. So let's see, first things first. It did come with this big turret gun. Pretty cool. Just kind of sits on a little tripod. And here's the ammo that it came with. And this is really cool because it does open up. You can actually pull out the actual rounds. They do come out as well. And they do slide in the side of the gun too. So that is pretty sick. All right, we'll move that aside. It came with some sandbags or the you know, blockades, and they just kind of interlock like that. And that's a hard plastic. And it also came with three separate bags as well that are really, really cool. If you wanted to have your figures actually stacking them up or like they're actually in the process of building the, the blockade or the barrier, there you go. That's pretty neat. And they're also hard, solid plastic. Pretty rubbery, maybe. What else? Um, it came with a little power team flag. I mean, you could always replace the, the logo and put whatever you want up there. So that might be a good idea. It came with RPGs. And this place that did come with some figures as well, but they're like really generic. So I'm not even going to go over those. It was like five figures came in the place that little gas tank. So it has all sorts of cool things in here. Uh, it came with a couple of these actually, like the little radios or the walkie talkies and satellite backpacks. They kind of just latch on with the elastic band right here on the back. Came with some regular backpacks as well. And they do the same thing. They kind of just latch on just like the same one. This is how they look in the front. So those are pretty cool. I'll keep these. I didn't keep the figures and the guns. The machine guns they came with were really, really tiny. So I kind of, I'm just going to give those to like a little kid or something like that. Um, came with a little emergency cone. Figure out something to do with that. Came out with a couple of barrels. So those are always cool to have. I think simple things like this just really add to the, you know, to the, uh, to the look that you're trying to come off with. Came with a couple of crates as well. And the lids do come off, they are removable. So they really play, pay good attention to detail, I think, with this, this playset. For it not to be like a Hasbro or you know a main company or something like that. Um, let's see, it came with this two chairs and a table. It's plastic. It's cool. Chairs fold up. Came with this little laptop that actually has stuff on the screen. So that was pretty neat. Came with a barbed wire fence. Came with some railing that just kind of 
locks into each other like so. Came with this cool, cool thing right here. I really like this motor launcher because it's on a tripod and that's cool. But also the little ammo pack, the lid comes off and if you look, it has three rounds in them, but they actually come out. So I thought that was really cool. Then it comes with this grid or chart, blackboard, whatever you want to call it. it has like some coordinates and stuff on it. Really cool piece right here. And then it also came with the motorcycle as well as an ATV. So here we have it out of the box. And I must say it looks pretty cool. I mean, it has some pretty good, you know, paint weathering and shadowing going on. Not too fancy, but I think it really gets the job done. Has two windows in the front, as you can see. There isn't anything in the little glass areas or little plastic. So you could stick guns out if you wanted the figures to be shooting or give you an illusion that they're looking out the window. So that works out pretty cool. Two front doors, they do both swing open like that. So pretty simple and straight to the point, but I definitely like the way they kind of made it look like a, a war headquarters or a building or something like that. So that's pretty much it for the front. Now we'll turn this bad boy around and we'll check out the main part of the playset. All right, so here's the back side of the playset or the main focal point. This is where you're gonna really interact with all your figures. And as you can see, it's kind of gutted out and it's not a lot going on inside, but that's probably good because you can use your own figures and your own weapons and crates and boxes and stuff to kind of decorate the base how you want it. So we'll just kind of work our way from top to bottom so that way you can see the whole you know, perspective of the whole playset. As you can see up top, there is a little rooftop or platform area. It has railing that goes all the way around. And I don't know how well you can see it, but if you look up top, there is a little hatch door. You pull it up and it has a little compartment from the ladder where you can just come up the ladder and come up to the rooftop. So yeah, let's move some of these guys out real quick. Just set those aside. And I'll tilt it so you can see what I was talking about, about that little hatch area. Just a little hatch right here, you just pull it up. And if you look inside, there is a little plastic ladder that leads up to the roof. So that's cool. On the side here, to get to that area, there is a little stairway or a little entryway right here. You just have them go up on the side and they get to that ladder and go up to the rooftop. So that's pretty cool. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a pretty basic shell, but I think it really gets the job done. Well, there you have it, guys. I added a few action figures just so you can see how the size comparison is and get a better scale perspective. It works well with both G.I. Joe's, Marvel Universe, so either way, it'll definitely be a great addition to your collection. I hope this review really helped you guys out. I definitely recommend getting it if you can get it at a good price or preferably just at retail out of big lots. Definitely recommend getting it. Keep collecting. Always spread that love. And it's always showtime in my world. Peace.